side hustlers out there? You know, people that like to sell things, always making money on the side. That's me. <laughs> that is me. I will tell you, my family sort of knows. I don't know if it's like a, a deep, dark secret or not, but pretty much anybody that knows me well knows that I am always selling something. Whether I'm selling on eBay or Craigslist or Etsy or Facebook Marketplace, I'm always selling something. And one of the most common questions I get asked is, Psst, Mary, where do you find this stuff? Where are you getting all of these things to sell? How are you making money doing this? Excellent question. Excellent question. So what I will tell you is that when you are selling things or buying things, procuring something for resale, you are going to make your money when you get the item, like when you procure it. So if you can get something for free, I mean, shoot, your profit margin is way up here. Now, sometimes you gotta pay for something and you just have to sort of factor it in. But the better price that you get over here, the better profit margin you're gonna get when you sell it. So, keeping that in mind, one of my really easy ways to make sure that I always have a really high profit margin is I get things for free. Tons of things, like a ridiculous amount of things for free. And so when people ask me, Mary, where do you get your stuff? I say, well, you just gotta kinda like open your eyes and look around and there's free stuff everywhere. And they say, no, like really, really where are you getting your things from? So this is where I get my stuff. So number one, if you're looking to resell something, look around your own house. I guarantee you, unless you are a super, super minimalistic person, you have something that you could sell. And so I always just periodically walk around the house and just say like, do I really need this? And if I don't, I list it. I list it for sale somewhere. So I always walk around my house. The other thing you can do, and this is like a treasure trove of awesome little things, is go to your family members' houses I go to my mom or my dad's house. I also would go to my grandma and grandpa's house at times and just say, hey, you got anything down in this basement that you don't want, that you just wanna get rid of? And more often than not, it's like, sure, take this, get rid of that. Because the thing is, it's like people just accumulate things over time. And sometimes it's really hard to get rid of something. You sort of like make up these excuses for why you still have it. And then you just wind up holding onto it forever. And so for them or like, my experience is that when I go to my dad's house, I'm like, do you need that? He'll say, no, take it, get it out of here. Boom, I go list it and sell it. So you get things for free that way. Um, so obviously if it's in your own house, you probably bought it at one point in time, but if it's in somebody else's house or even if it's a friend's house, you're getting something from them, you didn't pay anything for it and you just list it for sale. Another really simple, quick place to find things is on Craigslist. So in Craigslist, there's a free section. You just click on free and you just peruse it. You just look for things. Um, there's always something there. A lot of it really is trash that people probably don't just wanna have to pay to have hauled away from their curb. But a lot of times you find great things. Um, I would say look for things like bikes, solid wood furniture, um, patio furniture is another really great one. Anything that just sort of, it, it looks it looks good, it looks substantial, and that you can turn probably, I don't know, like a 40 to $60 profit off of it. So I'm always looking, I wouldn't say always, but fairly often enough, I am looking on Craigslist for free things. And you can also set up alerts on Craigslist in the free section. So maybe you're in your area, so in my area, bikes sell very, very well. We've got a lot of bike trails and such, so bikes, always sell. So I just have a Craigslist alert set up so that the second a bike comes up for free, I know instantly and I can hopefully snatch that one up. Another way you can get free things is when somebody moves. So typically at the end of the month or the beginning of the month, whatever, um, when people are moving into and out of apartments, they get rid of things. So if you live in an area where there are a lot of apartments and obviously, you know, you want them to, you want to be getting nice stuff. So go to your nicer areas of town maybe and, and just sort of look around when it's move in, move out day and you'd be surprised. You get a ton of stuff that way. Again, when I do that, I tend to focus in on furniture because furniture you can turn so fast on Craigslist or Facebook marketplace. So try that for move in, move out days. You'll find something. I guarantee it. Now, my first three tips were really around kind of like onesie, twosie things that you would find here and there, you know, on Facebook or grandma's basement or, you know, Bob down the street moves out. 
But these next two, these are your money makers. This is your jackpot because this is not onesie twosies. This is like a whole community doing something and you can take advantage of it, okay? So look for opportunities. So here we go. My number four tip for finding free things is pay attention to when neighborhoods are having rummage sales. This typically takes place in the spring. A lot of communities will also have them in the fall, but springtime is like peak season for rummage sales and usually neighborhoods will all communicate together and say, hey, you know, we're all going to have a rummage sale three weeks from now and everybody puts their stuff out for sale and anything that doesn't sell, people usually don't wanna haul it back into their house. So they stick it on their curb. Hello, jackpot. Just drive on through and scope out the good stuff, load it up and sell it. Boom, profit. All right, so my last tip, number five for scoring free stuff. This is what I call hippie Christmas. And I'm not sure how it got that name, but I don't know. You go around and you find some more free stuff. But here's the kicker. This is how you do it. So if you are in a community that has got bulk pickup, Remember those words because you're going to want to Google these later. Put them in your computer. Find out for your community if you have a bulk pickup day. So we have it here. I think they do it quarterly. And what happens is the, like the city will come by and they will pick up larger items that you put on the curb. So they will pick up things like dressers, lawn equipment, um, tables, chairs, like rugs, whatever it is, bikes, games, toys, baby things, stuff, just stuff, big stuff that you wouldn't normally put in your weekly garbage. So we've got bulk pickup quarterly here and whenever those days come, I'm usually hauling stuff out to the curb that I don't want, that I'm not gonna sell. Um, and all of my neighbors are doing the same thing. And it's the entire community. So I'm not saying you're gonna drive every single street, but every now and then, you know, I mean, just like on your daily adventures, you're going to the gas station or the grocery store or whatever, and if it's that bulk pickup week, like, keep your eyes peeled because you'd be amazed the things that other people get rid of that you can flip for some cash. I mean, I got some really cool antique dressers one time, um, coffee tables, lawn furniture, um, these big, huge, like four foot tall, huge glazed ceramic pots that were for, I think they were for outdoor plants, but whatever. Snatched those up and resold them. Um, so these are just great opportunities, those last two, like, you know, following up on the rummage sales as well as the bulk pickup days. Those are excellent because everybody at once in the community is getting rid of their stuff. So you can just take advantage of that. You don't have to reach out to people. You don't have to contact people. You just drive down the dang street and you just look for some goodies and you throw them in your car. You take a couple pictures and you list them on Craigslist, next door, Facebook marketplace and oh, cash in pocket. So I hope that helps you kind of understand maybe where there are little pockets of opportunity to get some free things that you can resell. If you have ideas of where you can find free things and maybe something I haven't heard of, let me know, comment below, because I'm always looking for new ideas and I'm sure other viewers are as well. Until then, see you next time.